Do you ever wonder whether you should finesse to the queen or the ten? Or what about, should I lead up to this king or to the jack? Which of these finesses should I actually take? So today, that's what we're going to look at, and I'll give you a few helpful tips. Uh, this was all suggested by the almighty Hydra. If you got any other lesson ideas, chuck them in the comments. So what I wanted to talk about today is choosing which finesse we should actually take. Sometimes you've got a choice of should we lead up towards a queen and take a finesse, or should we take a deeper finesse towards the 10? What should we actually do? And I wanted to cover a few different suit combinations, but uh, one of the key things that you want to ask is how many times do I actually need to finesse? The other thing that's worth noting is that usually it's worthwhile finessing to the deeper finesse first, so playing towards the lower cut. But uh, let's take a look at how this actually works. Okay, so here in this one, uh, we're in seven no trump, we want to take all the tricks and we have to get the spades and the hearts. We want to play both of these for no losers. And we're missing the king jack of both of them. Uh, so the question is, should we finesse towards the queen or should we finesse the, towards the 10? What do we actually want to do? And there is a difference between this. Uh, this first one in spades, we've got nine cards, whereas in hearts, we've only got eight cards. So if we go back to the question of, well, how many times do we need to finesse? When we've got nine cards, we might only need to finesse once because you could play towards the queen. And then if you take the ace, everything might be gone. And uh, that's great, our spades might be good. In hearts, we've got eight, so the opponents have five. So even if we finesse once and then take the ace, the opponents will still have something. So it looks like we'll need to finesse twice in hearts. So what this actually suggests is in spades, what we actually wanna do is lead towards the queen and then take the ace. Whereas in hearts, we want to play towards the 10 and uh, then just keep ref finessing and always finessing to the lowest card. So here, what this actually looks like is I will win here and then just play a spade towards the queen. And here, when you see the jack, it now looks like there's a singleton jack. And what you wanna do is you wanna come back and finesse again, because West can have a king third to start with. If you didn't see the jack here, you would actually want to take the ace at this stage. But in hearts, what we want to do is take the deeper finesse first and we'll just finesse this spade. There's the king, so we don't need that anymore. But in hearts, we'll now just repeat this. And if East played a low card, we'd play the nine. But when they put in the jack, we want to actually cover that. And now we've actually got all the rest of the tricks. Our hearts are good and our spades are good. So again, the main question you want to ask is how many times do I need to finesse? How many cards do the opponents actually have? And if you do need to do multiple finesses, you want to start with the uh, lower one first. And the reason for that is when we look at the hearts, we're missing the king and jack and either of them could be working. But by doing the deeper finesse first, you get the really good situation where both are working and you actually win all of the tricks there. So if we'd started with a low heart towards the queen, that would win, but then they'd be left with the king jack and we can't actually finesse the other one successfully. Whereas if you start with the lower one, either finesse is equally likely to work, but you get the benefit of both being on side and being able to take all the tricks there. All right, uh, this next one, we're just in four spades and we wanted to look at uh, these king jack guesses. So. Uh, do we want to lead up towards the king of spades or the jack of spades? What about in hearts? Which finesse should we actually be taking? So if you ever need to finesse multiple times, you always usually want to finesse the lower one. If you look at spades, we've got two losers. We're going to lose towards to the ace, uh, but it's the queen of spades we don't want to lose to. And one thing that you could see is like, let's say that we led a low spade towards the king and this wins. We still have two spade losers. We haven't actually done anything there. So we'd have two spade losers. And if we played a spade towards the king and it lost, uh, if it won, we still have two losers. So it doesn't actually help us finessing towards the king. Whereas if we lead low towards the jack of spades and that actually wins, and then we can come back to the south hand and do it again, as long as West has the queen, we can prevent that winning and therefore actually reduce our losers from two to one. Now in hearts, we've got a king jack as well, uh, but how many times do we need to finesse? Well, we have two losers in hearts, 
But if we lead a heart towards the king, if east has the ace, uh, then uh, our king's won, and we don't need to repeat the finesse again. We only need one trick out of hearts. We're trying to get the losers from two to one. But equally as good is leading a low heart towards the jack and playing east for the queen of hearts. So this is a suit combination where we're only going to lead it once. So this is a legitimate king jack guess where you can guess should I lead low to the king or low towards the jack. In spades, however, you really want to finesse the queen of spades by leading low towards the jack and just repeating that as often as possible. So what I'd actually recommend when you find suits like this in hearts where you have a king jack guess and can lead up towards the king or lead up towards the jack, counting high card points is really, really useful. Often I would pop open the bidding and look for any clues. Now there's no clues in this one, um, but uh, what I'd be hoping to do is to see has someone passed and can't have 12 points because they didn't open the bidding or did someone actually bid something and give me a good clue about their point range. And I'd keep track of high card points because I know that I have a legitimate choice of leading up towards the jack or towards the king and you want to try and get that guess right. So here, uh, we'll uh, just show how that works. So in spades, what you really want to do is we want to play a spade towards the jack. And in hearts, we have a guess whether we want to put in the king or the jack. And this is perfectly fine. Uh, spades, you definitely want to finesse towards the jack. In hearts, you can guess. But if you have this king jack guess where you can choose either, counting high card points is a good clue. Uh, here, if we put in the jack and the ace is there, we've now reduced our losers from two to one. So there are differences between king jack guesses. The main thing is how many times do you need to finesse to reduce your losers? If I played a spade towards the king, we still have two losers. If I play a heart towards the king and that worked, we're down to one loser. But if I play a heart towards the jack and east has the queen we also have one heart loser. So this one's a guess and counting high card points is the best uh, clue for what you should do there. So here's the whole hand. Uh, here, finessing to the jack in both worked on this hand, but worth mentioning, hearts could work the other way. So let's look at a few more interesting suit combinations. Uh, these ones you'll actually see come up a fair bit and I often see people actually misplay them. Uh, we're looking at the spades and the hearts. And these are just worthwhile remembering what sort of options you've actually got in this. So in the spades, this is probably the most commonly misplayed suit combination that I actually see. We've got the ace, the jack, and the nine. And what often people will do is, well, hope West has both the king and the queen, and they'll just lead low towards the jack. But there is actually a better play here. And what that is, is to finesse the 10 the first time by leading low towards the nine. And then we want to come back to the south hand and lead low towards the jack the next time. And what that's playing for is playing for West to have one of the spade on it, either the king or the queen, and also the ten of spades. So the ten of spades finesse is 50-50, but then there's, they need one of two cards or both, uh, which makes it better than just hoping that West has both the king queen of spades, which is only 25%. So this is a really useful suit combination, ace, jack, nine, all in one hand, um, where you can lead low towards the nine the first time to set up a finesse of the honor in the other one the second time. The hearts is also a very, very interesting suit with lots of possibilities and is also commonly misplayed. So uh, there are a few different options here in hearts. Uh, we're missing the king and the jack and we want to get three of the four tricks. Now what you could do is the best way to play this percentage wise is actually to lead low towards the 10, taking the deeper finesse first and then come back to the north hand and then just leading the queen and finessing again. And that will hope east has either the king or the jack of hearts by playing low towards the 10. If they've got the jack of hearts, if they put it in, we just put the ace on. But if they play low, our 10 will actually force out the king and we'll be able to take the rest of the tricks from there. If they've got the king of hearts, it goes low towards the 10, we lose to the jack, we get back up to that north hand and we can lead the queen and then as long as we prevent the king from winning, we'll get three tricks again. So that's the percentage way, worth remembering that. There's also a really nifty way that 
uh, works quite a bit as well, which is we can actually start from the south hand and lead low towards the queen of hearts. And uh, what that's doing is hoping uh, west has the king of hearts. Now with this, we could actually choose to lead low towards the queen, or we could let finesse low the first time and play west for the jack. Now, what I tend to find is if I start with a low heart, if West has the King of Hearts and a shortage, I find that lots of players will hop in with the King of Hearts from King Double Turn and will be pretty keen to take the King of Hearts if they have it. So what I personally like to do with this suit combination is lead a low heart. If they put up the King, great. We've got three tricks most likely. If they play low, I'll actually finesse the Jack on the assumption that some of the time when they have the King, they'll take it. And if that then loses to the jack, I'll come up to this north hand the next time and lead the queen and finesse the next time. So there are a couple of ways that you could actually play this heart. So there's more than that, but they're my two favorites. Uh, so let's look at how this actually plays out. So um, the percentage way in hearts is just low heart here and then just putting in the 10. And there are a couple of ways that you could actually get... Uh, four tricks in hearts if you needed to. Uh, you could hope East had a singleton king of hearts, or if you thought West had the shortage, you could hope West had a singleton jack and actually lead the queen of hearts. So uh, here I've switched to clubs, so I'll actually just switch over to spades and start with a uh, low spade towards the nine. And when this forces out an honor, it sets you up to finesse the other honor on the way back. Now I've been kind and returned one for me, uh, but we've successfully finessed West for the Queen 10. And here in Hearts, we'll then just continue Hearts and we lead the Queen and we've successfully finessed Hearts there. So we've actually got all the rest of the tricks. Um, but I just wanted to bring this one back up and talk about uh, the other option for playing the Hearts, which I like, even though it's not technically the best way, which was coming down uh, to the South hand so we'll just play a club and we just lead. I, I like leading uh, the lowest heart that I've got. Um, like the South hand's the declarer, they can see the North hand. So I like leading the lowest heart that I've got. So it looks like I'm planning on playing up towards the queen. And if they have the king, they won't always take it, but they do take it a lot of the time. Um, and when they don't do it, I'll then play them for the jack instead and just play low. Here, this finesse worked successfully, but if it didn't, I'd come back up to the north hand and then lead the queen of hearts to finesse on the way back. So there are a couple of ways to actually play these suit combinations. And again, it's usually finessing to the lower card first if you've got a few options there. Uh, importantly in that heart suit, what you don't want to do is just take one finesse. Often I'd see people play the ace of hearts, and then just uh, lead a low heart up towards the queen, hoping that the uh, king is on side. Now that would work today, but that is significantly worse than taking two finesses. Uh, so make sure you, with that suit, when you've got those good intermediates, you wanna take two finesses. All right, and this final one was because they requested me cover intra finesses, which is a very niche type of finesse, a uh, bit esoteric, but uh, really, really interesting. So we'll look at this. Uh, it's worth noting that most of the time the intra finesse isn't the right percentage play. Uh, one of these suits it actually is. So uh, in, in spades and in hearts, we can actually take an intra finesse. And I think it's just easier if I show you what an intra finesse actually is. So uh, I'll start with spades. So what you actually do for an intra finesse is you take, take a really deep finesse the first time, and then you try and crush that card on the way back. So here we're missing King Jack 10 of spades. So we'll finesse the Jack 10 and we lost to the 10. And then uh, if we went back up to that North hand and then lead the queen, what happens here is if East started with King 10 third or king jack third spade when we put our ace on we'll see the jack or 10 fall here 
And now our eight sevens actually good because we finessed that. And then we go to the other hand and lead our honor, hoping for that uh, card to drop. So that's how you can do uh, intra finesse in spades. In hearts, there's also an option here, uh, which uh, we're missing king, queen, 10. So if we go up to this north hand and we start leading towards the jack nine, eight, seven, uh, hoping that uh, East has the uh, king 10 or 10 doubleton or queen 10 doubleton. So we lead low. And here, if they hop in with an honor. And then we just get back to the uh, south hand. We've led low. They've hopped in with the king. We could hope for king, queen, doubleton. Uh, but if they had king 10, queen 10 or 10 doubleton, we can actually just lead the jack on the way back. And if the 10 is double 10, it now falls and it promotes our nine eight. So that's what an intra finesse is. So uh, I'll bring up the entire hand. You can see them uh, in hearts. This is actually how you want to play the heart suit. You want to lead low towards the Jack nine, eight, seven, finessing east for the 10, getting to the south hand and then leading the Jack on the way back. Uh, so these finesses don't come up, but uh, uh, that often, but it is worth noting that this is one suit combination where intra finesse is actually good. In spades, however, the intra finesse isn't good. The best way to play the spade suit is just simple. You want to take the ace and then you just want to lead up towards that queen. That, that's as simple as that. That's the best percentage way to do it. It is worth noting that sometimes you'll know that East has the king. If you know East has the king of spades, that might sway the odds in favor of doing this intra finesse and knowing that this is a possible way to play the suit can help you there. So hopefully this covers some interesting ways to understand which finesse you should be taking. So in general, usually finessing to the lower card first is better. You also want to ask the question of which finesse, like how many finesses do I actually need to take? And you usually want to take the minimum number of finesses on a, on a suit. So uh, if you can reduce your finesses from uh, two to one, you don't finesse to that lower thing because you might be able to get away with just doing one finesse. And also sometimes you have a king jack guess where you have a choice of leading up towards the king or the jack and you can actually choose because either way it might reduce your losers from two to one. And if that's the case, counting high card points is a really good way to try and work out which way you should actually go. Anyway, hope this helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.